Um, I have decided to uh, drunk review this game because I think it's a lot of fun. And I think it allows for uh, a lot of creativity. And uh, hold on. Is one, hold on. Uh, hold on one second. All right. We're good. So um, this game uh, really brings out a lot of joy in me. I thought it would be more like a Fruity Loops kind of thing. But it's not. It's it's not really for music creation. Now, you might buy it and you might say, okay, I thought I was creating songs. Well, you're really, really not. You're really freestyling a song every single time. So um, it, it's not for music creation. It's it's more for like freestyling and, and all that. You can't really save what you do. So don't think of it as like a Fruity Loops program. You're not, you're, uh, you're not remixing the song per se, right? So I'm going to break this interface down for you. I mean, you've probably already looked at some tutorials, so I'm not going to get too in-depth into this. Um, you, you have different boxes over here and different boxes over here, and each of these boxes can go into these slots, and it allows for you to change to whatever the feature is of that box, right? So here you have the arrangement. This is what you can save, right? The song is broken into tracks, and you can mix and match those tracks any way you want to make it sound super cool. Um, but anyway, this is what the song is, and the computer will pre-program the tracks together for you. And you can play that right here. Currently, I have it off. Or you can mix and match the way you want to and the you know, way you see fit. This is what I have already done for you. This is what you're seeing here. This is not the premix that comes with the game. Uh, you have an FX cube, which we'll, you know, we'll screw around with later. You have the vocals tab, which you can bring two different uh, sections of the song you make. So if you see in the first groove section, I have some vocals there. Uh, and the vocals are just the vocals. 104, right? 104 degrees out. Cool. Super, super cool, right? Cool. Visuals is uh, you, you get a little selfie stick. Right, so whatever. So that that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool when you're when you're in here and you can you can see what you look like. But what you're seeing from the screen is what's on this screen. So you won't be able to see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna turn it back to first person mode. Call it a day. All right, we're gonna keep it there. The backing track is really fun because you're able to hear the different tracks and what you can do within them. Right. So say I have build right here. All right. Let's jump to the build. You can decide what you want to hear, what you don't want to hear. So if I want to turn the snare off and I want to know what that sounds like, I can click that. And that's what it sounds like. And then turn it back on. And if that's what I want, I can build that into my arrangement, right? So if you look at my arrangement, I have both of them going. Great example of this is in the intro. First intro, I have nothing, right? The reason I have nothing is because I wanted to use a looper, which I'll get into in a second. But the second intro, I do have the keys playing, so it's a slow start, right? The looper is just a, it's a constant rhythm and a constant beat or whatever, I don't know what you want to call it, whatever. It's a constant sound that plays throughout the song until you mess with it, right? Cool part about the looper is that you can gradually Go into it and uh, get out of it. Super fun to end a song with or start a song with, as long as you're you know you're maintaining it and you're, and you're there. So um, otherwise, you could let it play the whole song and it'll stay there until you mute it. So that's pretty much everything you know over in this over in this John. You got the orbs, which make different sounds. This is the fun part. This is the creative part, right? Right? You can mess around, play real time, whatever you want to do. You can record, but you can only record in short little bursts, right? So hold the joysticks in, turns red. You can put that back, and you can mute that at any time. That's going to help you later in the tracks. You could also drag that into various tracks, right? So say I want this to start. In the first trap section, I can drag that into here, and that will automatically play 
once the song plays and gets to the first trap section, right? Otherwise, it's right there. I can turn it on and off whenever I want. Oops, yeah, that's pretty good. Cool, so the grenades, right? Oh man, this is just so intense, man. All right, cool. So, grenades. You can throw them and they make a sound. Fuck. All right, cool. So. So, that's pretty self-explanatory. The problem is, is that you do have a gap in how long it takes for the grenade. You know, you sometimes you want it to go right away. But you do gotta wait till it gets to a certain point and before it releases and you make the sound. Which can be a little goofy when you have this great beat going and you're jamming out and you're like... But it doesn't jive well because it takes a second for the grenade to, to, to blow up, right? So... Yeah, that being said, that's pretty much everything. So I'll go through the I'll go through the arrangement that I've created at this point. And uh start the vote because I have the vote I think I have the vocals in here at some point. Yeah, vocals start in the groove. I turn the vocals on the groove. So if you go into vocals, you could actually drag the vocals to start wherever you want them to. Now, they'll go into whatever like I have them start here, but I don't have them in groove one, just in the the groove zero technically. Right? Because they'll transition into groove one already, because they're long enough that that's you know that's how it that's how it works. So I'll show you. I'll you know I'll show you how it works. We'll start with the. Uh... Oh, well, maybe it would help if I uh, unmuted everything. Yeah, and started with the looper. So it's going intro. starts now notice I don't have everything checked off here but on this one I do everything turns on so snares not going first two starts snare starts right there it is, yep. So trap two, I'm gonna start the purple. could lead out with the looper going down and you know, whatever you want it will automatically restart in your arrangement though so see it automatically wants to restart unless I turn the off button if you're not in your arrangement it will only play the backtrack so if I keep it on intro right here it will continuously repeat intro until I turn the actual arrangement on so if I want to hear how a certain things sound in the groove it will continue playing the groove as you can see that gives you the ability to hear different transitions. So I want to hear this transition. Uh, what about this one? Yeah, I don't know. 
don't know why the transition isn't working. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you drink. I don't know. Whatever. Let's go around it. Start over. fun that be creative do whatever you want play around with shit play some bloopers and whatever do whatever you want like it's a lot of fun good time and uh again really fun for kids uh but it's not for music production it's for creativity it's, it's for uh just mess around with stuff and see what sounds great that being said i read it's gonna get better it's gonna have more songs and stuff so hopefully you know, if you buy it, it gets even better than it already is over time. But it's really a lot of fun. This is just one song of many, too. So keep that in mind, yeah? All right. See you later. Back to the lobby. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Need some more. Mm. Yeah, all right. All right. Let's try a different song. Oh man, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Let's see what we got. I haven't played this one yet. I don't think I have. Alright, so this is the pre-arrangement that was created by the computer. Or, you know, whatever. Whoever set this up. Again, you have your tracks and your different steps associated with them. I'm going to play whatever the computer has. There's no vocals to this song. It's pretty simple. So we turn it on and see what it sounds like.
Mexico. Still love it. Continuously play. Cat food! Yo, cats! Got food! Got food! Mr. Pickles! Oh shit, am I still recording? <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit.